It's Monday again. Monday girl bag. It keeps being Monday. Wow. Which is... Comes around like once a week. Unexpected. Everyone, thank you so much for all the love that you gave to our podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Episode one went so well. Yep. And all the comments and the you know, radios and stuff made us so happy. Yep. We're still on cloud nine. Episode two drops... In two days. Yep, on Wednesday. Wednesday in two days. That will be the 16th. We'll put the link below for you to subscribe. Get it wherever you get your podcast. In episode two, we go much deeper into our fertility and IVF stuff. Yep. We talk about parenting. Talk about all the mean things that all of our trolls say about us being parents. Yep. It's a good one. It is. <laughs> Tomorrow, Tuesday, is also the last day to purchase a bra for my collaboration with Harper Wild. No so, big deal. My wife has a signature bra. Oh my god. So that link is also down in the description. If you want one, you only have like 48 more hours. Go. Go. Hurry. <laughs> but thank you to all of you that have already gotten one. The oh, response yeah. has been so overwhelming. We're so excited. Yeah. It's been really good. I got a few. <laughs> um, but we have a great little Monday get back for you today. We have some good, fun questions. Let's begin. All right, question one. If for any reason in the future you need to hire someone to help with Shane's care, do you, Hannah, think you will find it hard to see someone else helping him? And do you, Shane, think you might find it hard to trust someone with your care? I have the image that this calls to mind is like someone else lifting me, you know, <laughs> onto the toilet and Hannah leaning in the bathroom <laughs> just doing... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my phone is talking to me here. Yeah, it um, thinks that you are growling at it. So do you think you'll be mean or <laughs> upset? <laughs> do you think you'll be upset? Yes, I think I will be mean to the future caregivers. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my house. <laughs> no, I, I think it will be hard for me to see someone else helping you, absolutely. And I think it would be hard for me to receive help from someone else. Yeah. I mean, like, do you just let Hannah do it? <laughs> Especially in, like, the learning process, if someone's doing something. Like, even when my mom will help Shane with something, <laughs> if she's not understanding, like, for example, she always forgets where the button is on his joystick and you can't see oh, it. Oh, Liz, I'm sorry that your daughter's already out like I this. know, but she <laughs> doesn't do it very often, so she'll just, like, forget and be like, where is it? And I will be like, I'll just do it. I'll, like, come from across the room, you know? <laughs> so I think if it was someone being trained and Shane was like, all right, move my elbow here, and they're, like, not getting it, it yeah. would be very difficult for me to not just be like i'll just do it and like for me giving up that vulnerability yeah it like hannah knows me and my care better than anyone on earth yeah and, and you haven't had to explain anything in a very long time yeah even when like my parents would come and visit you know like over the summer and they would like help out with things that they haven't done routinely in like five years yeah it was a little bit it took some getting used to mm -hmm. to have to re-explain and like feel completely comfortable and that was with my parents yeah. who did it for 25 years so it's gonna be weird mm -hmm. it's gonna be weird very weird but we'll we'll get through it yeah. yeah and once you do have someone that you're comfortable with i think it will be nice for you to have someone that you're like paying so you can you don't have to balance like this is also my wife so yeah. i have to be you know there's a certain like weird way feelings. yeah there's weird feelings for someone else that you can just be like you know yeah. I want this now. And like, <laughs> Not might... in a rude way, but like you don't have to worry about like... Get me my beer now. <laughs> I'm paying you. <laughs> Who wants the job? <laughs> if that doesn't sell you, I don't know what will. No, but it's going to be weird. Um, it'll ultimately be good. Hopefully like, they'll end up being so good that they replace Hannah. And then, you know, we're smooth sailing from there. <laughs> All right, question number two. Have you discussed to what degree, if any, your future children will be included on your YouTube channel and the privacy and safety issues involved with that? While you were reading that, I was kind of like dancing. I know. I just want everyone to know. You're just in a good mood? I'm feeling happy. I'm actually feeling extremely anxious. Yeah. We've had a very, very busy day, and this is like item number 100 on mm -hmm. our to-do list today, so I'm feeling like, <laughs> and our dog just started. <laughs> She's about to say she just farted. She's looking at her own butt. Very just, oh, she's leaving. She says, that is it. I'm out. Thanks we, for leaving us with that. We, all, oh we also, God. we have a big doctor's appointment tonight with our IVF doctor. And that has been stressing us for like two weeks. Yeah. So, so uh, that's why Shane is that's why I'm like bobbling here. around in the background. <laughs> but yeah, we have talked about, Yeah. we talked a lot about how we will or will not 
thanks for joining our kids on the channel. And we've seen a lot of examples of ways that it's been done well, and then a lot of examples of ways where we're like, we want to make sure we never do that. And I think the the most honest answer is we've not reached a hard conclusion yep. yet, and I don't think we'll be able to until we have the kids, and they're like, you know, parents. Yeah. We're not parents, yet, so we don't. I know. I don't know. It's hard to know what that will feel like. And I, I have a lot of respect for people that, like, don't show their kids' faces. I... Obviously, we might go that route. I I don't want to do that. Like, I just, that doesn't feel necessary to me personally yeah. to never show a face. Like, absolutely never showing vulnerable moments, whatever. But showing the face, like, I, I we need to think more about that specifically. That's definitely not the way that I would lean, but, like, yeah. we'll have to think about it. All right, next question. I believe the two of you do a lot of speaking engagements. Correct. We did one today. Yeah. How do you decide which engagements to do? And then once the decision is made, how do you decide whether to drive or fly to the event? I know flying is a big issue, so I was just wondering. Okay. Which engagements to do? We do most of the ones that come to us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like we try to do as many as we can. Yeah, it'll just, like, if we're busy that day already, obviously, we can't do them. Yeah, we pretty much just try to do all the ones that we can. Yeah. We've never really turned one down for, like, moral reasons yeah that we haven't had anyone ask us to speak that we're like no we, we don't, don't support we it. don't agree with that or whatever yeah everything's been pretty in line with what we do yep uh but then like flying versus driving uh we try to fly when we can but it depends on the size of the airplane that is available to get us to that place yeah we just had a speech in northern kentucky so we were trying to fly into cincinnati uh, none of the airplanes that fly from Minneapolis to Cincinnati, uh, at least on the days that we needed it, were big enough for Shane's chair. So we ended up having to drive out there. Yeah. So instead of like a two-hour flight, it was a two-day drive. I also think like when when the speech is within a one-day drive, we normally just drive. Absolutely. Because flying, even if it's possible, is way more stressful and involved than driving. Yeah. Once there's like an overnight on the way we yeah. start to consider flying and yeah. then we look at airplane size so that's fun <laughs> i've looked up more airplane sizes in my life than i ever found in my life my mom has a list of airplane types and the size of their cargo doors and she like brings it when uh, we're booking flights that is knowledge that we do not need in our brains no but we have it all right next question what was your worst subject in school Either the one you had the poorest ability in or your most disliked. I think we have the same answer for worst. Yeah, I have like two things I want to say, but go ahead. What's yours? I'm much fast. Math. Math. I can't do math. I nope. Done. No math. Mine was like I'm math was okay. So this is why I wanted to say two things. When I was younger, like elementary school, it was science class. Oh, okay. And that is because my science teacher in elementary school really liked like hands-on learning and she had a strong affinity for robotics type stuff, like engineering. That's not even like the fun science stuff. I liked the uh, learning about clouds, you know, I liked that kind of stuff. Oh, that's not what I meant. Oh. I meant like doing like experiments. Oh, oh you know, yeah. I, I don't remember in, doing any of that. I like doing chemicals. In, we didn't do that. You know? <laughs> but this was elementary school. And I specifically remember that she, like everyone loved this and I hated it. So my teacher was focusing on, I guess, robotics or engineering something for a couple of weeks. And our task was to build a remote control Lego car that would actually move. It sounds fun. And so everyone in the class thought this was the coolest thing ever. They loved it. I could, first of all, could not stand this, hated it. Second of all, could not get it, could not figure out how to get my stupid battery to work. Were you like following directions? No. And you just got like bored of it? It wasn't or? really following directions. It was like you built whatever you wanted as a car and then she was like, this is where the battery, like, I don't know. I don't remember looking at anything. I remember seeing my friend's car and she was driving it all around. I just didn't do it. Wow. That's the end of the story. I did not build a working car. Did you receive an F? I don't think it was graded. I think she didn't grade me very well. It was like checks, you know, it was like excellent, mm -hmm. check plus. I did not do well in that science class. The teacher did not like me. I went back to the school a year after I graduated and she didn't remember me. 
She was like, you were in this class? She was like, but you never built a robot. There were 18 of us in the grade <laughs> and she didn't remember me. So she really, I did not do well. And then later on, I would say math. Like my SAT math, I could not, I did yeah. horribly. I just could not get it. So if you ever need anything like engineering or math you've done, don't come to us. We no. won't be helpful. Mm -mm. I can write you a poem. <laughs> All right, last question. Do you like our new setup where we're like, Henry's reading these off of my laptop. Yeah, off to the side. Normally she does them on her phone. Glad I could barely see it. I'm sorry, what are you looking forward to? That's, yes. That's nice. I thought it was a nice one to end on. Aww. What are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to today being over. The <laughs> Philadelphia Eagles are playing on Monday Night Football. Hopefully we'll be done with all of our items by then, all of our work. Yeah. Um, But like longer term, I'm looking to Thanksgiving food. Hmm. I love all the side dishes that we eat on Thanksgiving. I'm looking forward to that. Wow. I am looking forward to going to Pennsylvania in December to visit Aww. Shane's family. Oh, yeah. And I guess that should have been yours. You're like, I'm <laughs> looking forward to food. And I I'm like, I am excited to see Shane's parents. <laughs> I'm excited to see my parents. <laughs> no, I am, obviously. Yeah. But it'll be a fun trip. But like Thanksgiving is before that. So you don't seem far past that because it's so meaningful to you. It's my limited math brain. The just, stuffing. I'm very short. Sh sh short Short-sighted. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, this has probably been a weird episode of Monday Go Bad, but yep. it's been a day. I'm done. It's been a day and a half. I don't even know if this will get up in time. It will. Are you editing it, Shane? I will edit it. You have to do those things that you were doing. Yeah. This is funny because like we are literally about to press end record and then he's going to edit it. And then it's gonna go on, and you're gonna see it in like 45 minutes. You know what? Let's time it. Right now it is 2:55 p.m. Central. Yeah. Let's see what time this ends up uploading. See how fast that can work. All right, everyone. <laughs> Bye. Bye.